This episode is brought to you by TurboTax. TurboTax experts make all your moves count. Filing with 100% accuracy and getting your max refund guaranteed. So whether you started a podcast like this one, side hustled your way to concert tickets, or quit your job to stream video games online full time, switch to TurboTax and make your moves count. See guarantee details at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. Experts only available with TurboTax Live. Remember this? President Trump is focused squarely on overturning the election. He's running again, and there are more just like him. Election deniers in your state, up and down the ballot. They want the power to change the rules and decide who wins elections and overturn any election result if they don't like the outcome. If you think voters should have the power, get the facts at electiondeniers.org. Paid for by States United Action. Oh, uh, let's see, let's see. Speaking of movies that have been up for voting for a long time and was just always kind of left behind. Sometimes it was all it was it was almost there. Sometimes it was just at the bottom, lost and forgotten. But see, this is why I say never give up on a movie because Every movie, well, almost every movie, you, you stick in there long enough, somebody has a movie they want roasted, don't give up on it. It just may have its day, just like this movie right here did. Oh, so how are you doing at my golf course? Shooting the music video. You see that line? It represents the property line of that estate. Guess who closed escrow yesterday? How much do you want? It ain't about the money. All I want is a membership. Ridiculous. All right, girls, take off your tops. Now. As your legal counsel, I take his offer. He's a rapper. <laughs> Not quite a doctor. Their rules are unfair. You know I don't back down for nothing. So he'll have to beat them. Sweet ride. Wilson, shut up. At their own game. <laughs> All right, we'll save all that goodness when we actually do the review. People, in celebration of Black History Month, who's your caddy? This is actually a, a Black uh, a Black History Month. Uh, we're celebrating Black Foolish Month. Right? Yeah, yeah, I was say, yeah, yeah, a little yeah. mix up there. Man. Yeah. Oh, but in celebration of Black Something Month, uh, we have who's your caddy? This has been out there for a while. Finally got to it. This features your boy, one half of Outcast, Big Boy. Big boy who, well, he wants to go join this prestigious, high-class country club. Of course, you know, country clubs don't allow black people in there. Mm. You know, ain't nobody plays golf until uh, Tiger Woods did. He's not even fully black. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> oh, come on. Black people playing golf? That's just stupid. Um, I mean, you know these country clubs, man. They, 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 now, listen, it's hard enough for white people to get up in here. Sure. Uh, which makes you think we're going to let your black asses up in here to play golf. Get out of here. I mean, unless you want to, you know, clean a little something before you go. Uh, but, yeah, people, this is a, a notorious film. Uh, this is this this bombed horribly at the box office. Uh, has one of the lowest <laughs> scores that you can find on uh, Rotten Tomatoes outside of, a, 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 of just a plain zero. But it is certainly in the, the, the single digits. Six percent. Six percent is what it has right there. And, you know, it's one of those movies where some people have dubbed it uh, Soul Plane on a Golf Course. Yes, I've heard that a bunch. Yeah, yeah. So if you enjoyed Soul Plane, <laughs> <laughs> you enjoyed seeing black people act a fool and just have no dignity at all, then you might enjoy this movie also. Uh, I don't think that's quite accurate. Well, you but... know, I've seen Soul Plane, and it's a movie that I despise. How did this match up with that? A lot of people said this movie... They've been wanting for a long time because they they said if you like if you love Soul Plane then this is this is perfect for a bad movie roast. Is it? Well, we're gonna go ahead and get into it right now. And I will say this about the movie: the movie did do because you're saying it's not accurate to go that far with it because uh, the movie did some really impressive things that I thought for being a movie of this of this type, which is uh, it actually made me offended for everybody. Involved black <laughs> and white. <laughs> Shit, I thought this, I thought this really was gonna be soul play on the golf course. Uh, I, soul play, I just felt bad for the black people up in there. This movie, I feel bad for the black and the white people sure. in here, man. This should have been called stereotypes, the motion picture, or stereotypes, the movie, because that's all that the humor is in this. All you know, all we know is that uh, you know. Well, I understand. Stereotypes are more harmful for black people than other people, and that is that is that is true. That is true, you know, because all of all of ours deal with the negativity. You mm -hmm. know, we can't we ain't smart, we can't do shit, we can't have shit. Yeah, 
you know. Um, but that don't really make it any less lazy when you do it for white people. <laughs> it don't make it mean any, any less right or wrong, you know. It's a because uh, all the supposed comedy, the supposed comedy in this, is just the white stereotypes versus the black stereotypes. And guess who wins? Black people by the power of cool. I don't know. I feel yeah. like nobody. Won. At the end of it, nobody wins really. Before and you can see it before any before any dialogue is spoken by anyone. They they already pulling that white people are like this. Oh yeah, black <laughs> people like, like this. Don't be like this. Black people like this, <laughs> not this. This. <laughs> yes, you know because. We all know how high class white people are. When high class white people do their thing, they do it to serene classical music. <laughs> to niggas rolling in hip hop. Speed sign. I feel like anybody, no matter what color you are, be like, slow the fuck down, turn the music down, man. Yeah. Well, you know, it's funny because he's like, oh, we know what, what a high class white people are like. No, we know what they're like in the movies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. You know, uh, <laughs> and, I, and so, you know, we got a, a you know, a, a club, a country club full of uh, stuffy white people. <laughs> stuffy actually means racist for many of them. <laughs> and uh, the head of the country club, uh, Mr. Cummings right here, I forgot his first name, played by uh, Jeffrey Jones. I'll tell you more, a little bit about this man a little bit, but he's, a, he's the uh, head of the country club. He is so ultra right wing racist. And, you know, let's just get right down to it. And, and uh, he's a real life pedophile. But yep. we'll talk about that a little bit. But he is so ultra right wing racist that he don't even want Bill Clinton, the former president of the United States, he don't even want him up in the club. Is it the caliber of person we want in the club? With all due respect, Mr. Cummings, he, he was a president of the United States. An unfortunate accident. He's lucky to have not his ass up in the club right now, but his ass on the set. Little, little, little uh, I would say fun fact, but it's really not that fun. Uh, a lot of people still don't know that Mr. Jones is a... Uh, He's a pedophile, all right. Let's just get right down. Yeah, he's to convicted he's, pedophile. Yeah, pedophile. Yeah, he's but he so he had to register as a <laughs> as a sex offender. And, and now you probably think, well, I guess that ruined that man's career. No, he was filming this after yeah, he was supposed to register as a sex offender. In fact, he they they people were complaining because <laughs> he failed to register, and, they, and everybody around the area like. How come you tell us this fool was here? <laughs> oh no! Yeah, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was filming like nothing happened. Oh, right. He better let somebody know. Yeah, he didn't. Get, he didn't register, and he had trouble for that too. Yeah, and straight up pedophile, man. I'm talking about dressing little boys up in uh, 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 like a one particular little boy, 14 years old, put his ass up in a cowboy hat and had him posing with stuffed animals. Yeah, uh -huh. he, he almost got Pee Wee Herman thrown in jail. Yeah, that right was around that time. He was sending him a, a bunch of his oh. own, like, oh, you collect erotica. Here, here's some of this. Like, Please are like, hey, uh, you got this. He's like, man, Jeffrey Jones sent that shit to me. I didn't right. ask for it. <laughs> and Pee Wee, you get that thing I sent you? That was you? Yeah, can you stop, please? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he had a thing for uh, little boys, man, and, yeah. and, and, was, and was still working. You can go to his IMDb, 77 years old now. Uh, he's, he's, I don't know about now, but he still had projects that were on Deadwood. But that's right. And they had to address that. Uh, when the Deadwood movie came out. Oh, is that right? Yeah, they said, yeah, we fucked. <laughs> Yo, man, we should have man. Here's another little, now this is kind of a fun fact, and I don't, I don't think anybody's going to be surprised. So, I guess this man was just happy to have a mention in the movie, because, have you heard this? That is, this is supposed to be his favorite comedy? Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I know, I, I read that line, and I was like, I wonder if that's true. So, this is from Todd Phillips. Who did Joker and uh, the you know the the, the, the Hangover? He says we got to go to dinner with President Clinton. We were like, hey, why don't you come by the set? So he came by. He loved the first uh, Hangover. He loves comedies. At dinner, he goes to his assistant. What's the movie that? Or maybe I should do in the Clinton voice. What's the movie that we watched over and over again on playing? The guy says the president loves Who's Your Cat. <laughs> 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 
almost like I, like he was embarrassed. He loves Uja Cannon. <laughs> For okay, okay, I think I, I, can, I can interpret this. <laughs> the movie was playing on the plane. He saw some scenes and laughed at it. <laughs> well, <laughs> over and over on the plane. Well, yeah. Sherry Shepard also comes up and says, uh, Bill Clinton pulled me aside. You know he loves them black women. He pulled her aside and said, I love your work in Uja Caddy. And he has seen every movie I've done. His favorite is Beauty Shop. Jacking off to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to get some ass. Who's your caddy? He told me that. I uh, and I, uh, I, I the best love <laughs> President Clinton. He loves Who's Your Caddy. Oh, and one for the money. He loves. He loves. One he don't like the money. He tried to get some ass. What he trying right. to do? <laughs> She's like one scene in one for the money. That's, that's, all, that's all he needs. That's, that's it. I know. Yeah, yeah. That's that. Uh, Catherine Heigl movie. Right? Oh, that's yeah. that's it. Okay, yeah. she All plays right. a hooker. Like what is he? But anyway, uh, <laughs> she plays a hooker. Okay, he must have rewound yeah, yeah, that yeah. a bunch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see Jack Hay like, wait, what the fuck? Not Jack Hay, but the other. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where she was like, what the fuck? Like, what? what? Trying to stick a cigar up the TV and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty ass. I mean, he was known to you know peruse uh, Jeffrey Epstein's pedophile island. Man, I'm still weird. I'm, I'm wondering about him. Yeah, yeah. he met Trump. <laughs> shit, I was wondering about him loving who's your cat. <laughs> Shit, I'm a weird about that. <laughs> no, like, I, mean, I would, I would that's, never that's say that. More disturbing. Yeah, thing. yeah. Well, I, would, I would never admit that to anybody. Yeah. Unless you try to get some ass yeah. with Sherry Shepard. Makes, makes me wonder how he sees black people. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he could have said Dirty Rock. Yeah, he could have yeah, 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 said yeah, some yeah, stuff yeah. that's respectable that she's done. Yeah, but he yeah. had to go to every. No. Nah. Yeah. Makes me think he goes around black people do that funny thing y'all do. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> she's like, what, suck your dick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, you know, listen, I would, I would never defend a racist. You know, I'm, I'm talking about the character of uh, Jeffrey, Jones. Jeffrey Jones here, Mr. Cummings. You know, I would never, I would never defend a racist, which is what he plays in the movie right here. He does not want any color up in the club at all, unless you were serving. So I would never defend anybody who discriminates and hates like that. Uh, but these brothers helping his cause, man. <laughs> like, yeah, this this felt like a <laughs> like a right wing Republican's wet dream. Hell yeah, this whole movie. Shit, all right. Wait, somebody you just go see, you oh, see, yeah, they are our recruiting video. Or something, cause yeah, it, I mean, listen, I it, it, it's one of the things where these 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 brothers ain't helping themselves, and they ain't helping this man change his mind right here. They come in, so when they show up at the club to try to get a membership, they they walk in just like they think black people would do. Walk in talking all loud. What's that, the players? That burning in the air. Y'all smoking on. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one white dude over here. He's getting ready to run. <laughs> Just in there. Like, you know, he's getting ready to run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know what's going on, but I don't want to know. Part of it. I know where this goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. He was one of them. It's like, it's like the trying to look how, look how uptight they are. Anybody would yeah. be would be disturbed by you yeah. walking into a room loud, loud. talking mm-hmm. shit, you walk, you know, yeah. interrupting people. You know, it's like you walk into a place me. where everybody's minding their own business, black or white, anything else. Right. You walking in like a damn fool. You walking like a damn fool. But they already think black people act like this. So he ain't helping. He ain't help. They ain't helping themselves. They help me. No. Right. And then they walk in. <laughs> they walk in, walking all crazy already, and and. and they're going to talk about it. Yeah, man, you know, they look at us all threatening. Well, don't walk in looking threatened. <laughs> right. Fuck, we're getting robbed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, she's calling 911 yeah, yeah. right now. <laughs> Shit, they call me. Help! Help! <laughs> and again, if I were doing that job, I'd be like, I had the same look on my uh-huh. face. They'd be going, yeah, don't look at me like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. What, is, what is this about? <laughs> and, Can I help you? and again, living up to the stereotype, walking loud, looking threatening to come in, doing gun, gun, right. gun pointing at this at this woman right here, and immediately all over that white girl. Already, no, brothers no. coming in just slobbering. You don't just apply for membership here. You have to be invited. Your eyes blue. Ooh, I bet you they be trying to kiss you in the mouth. Was she pressing a button under there like yeah, 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 right 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 now. yeah, yeah. Hell, fuck hell. You know, you know, see, you gotta understand that was kind of charming. What? No, I, mean, I, I think she liked me. Yeah. Get off with her, come on. Yeah, charisma. You does turn you in the mouth. Charisma. Let him turn you on when someone you just met gets two inches from your face. Yeah. Talk about your eyes and want to kiss you in the mouth. When they already don't like black people. Uptight. One, one brother in here. 
He act like he'd never seen a white girl in real life. We always have a spot in the yard. Playing with her hair and everything. What the fuck? And, and, and every, the funny thing is, is terrible. every time they come back to this dude, he, he's up on it just a little bit more. Let's go. This is a sprint. It's a good thing he's leaving because the next shot he would have had ass bent over a table. Yeah, yeah, he is he all right. Yeah, she, she looked like a hostage. It was a headlock, man. Yeah, look that was a headlock. Well, she's talking about hell me yeah. right yeah. now. See, so y'all see this, right? <laughs> look at her face. And white people are like, you on your own right yeah, now. Sorry. And that, yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's, like, it's like he's claimed her already. Yeah. yeah. It's like the other guys are like, look, if that's the sacrifice we have to make, sorry, yeah, baby. Take, you know? her. <laughs> take her, take, take her. her, take her. Just get out. Yeah. You guys get out. <laughs> so, so when they are offered a job shoveling shit. If you'd prefer, you could work in the stables. Horses! How are you with a shovel? Shovel? He just said, nigga. Shovel that horse shit. Me? To shovel horse shit? Honest work. So when they get off at that, I'm like, the fuck you expect? Uh, what I, I don't get is, is fucking, um, uh, phase on love just yells out random shit at the top of his lungs. Yeah, right. Yeah. No, oh, he does. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, they came in. I'm sorry they came in acting. So they came in acting niggerish. And then they're going to say, can I get an application for membership? <laughs> Are you out your goddamn mind? Yeah, for real. I mean, he just called us a nigga. It's like, he didn't, but he was well within his rights to do that. Bro, he's, he's acting. Like, like, it's it's it, one of the things where he looked at me. Man, you can believe what he called him. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, he's <laughs> <rat mind. laughs> but, and, and did they take all the punctuation out of uh, Big Boy's script? <laughs> me? Shovel horse shit? <laughs> and what? I mean, he's like, he doesn't even know how to... Like no, he does. The inflection is wrong. He's, 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 he's no actor. As a matter of fact, I notice how every time he speaks, the camera is way up in his face. Oh yeah, no, like yeah. they just don't want to show any of that body language. I mean, it's it's yeah. The, so <laughs> go ahead. So the movie, I tell you, the movie is very thorough though. You know, they make sure to get every stereotype that they can. <laughs> you know, they no 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 one gets out alive here. Yeah, oh, they have a checklist. Yeah. So they, uh, Next. yeah, they got, they got, they got, they just in case anybody need, a, you know, a checklist or a bingo card. Yes, they had the, uh, the stereotypical, stereotypical gay up in there too. So he's buying a house from a, a, a very gay realtor. Yes, you're a fan. This episode is brought to you by TurboTax. TurboTax experts make all your moves count. Filing with 100% accuracy and getting your max refund guaranteed. So whether you started a podcast like this one, side hustled your way to concert tickets, or quit your job to stream video games online full time, switch to TurboTax and make your moves count. See guarantee details at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. Experts only available with TurboTax Live. Oh, everybody knows Jack's the man. Yeah, but I'm all about Tiger. <laughs> he's so cute. Oh, and by the way, not only is he gay, but he's gay and white, so he's he's got to be corny too. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? You feel me, don't you? Yeah. All right, let's move on. Put your ass down. <laughs> but you know what, though? Gay, gay people are more hip than that. He would, yeah. he would be more hip of the slang. And, I'm, and that's the compliment I'm saying. But you know, he's he white be... and in this movie, so he's got to be all uptight. <laughs> you feel me, right? Let's move. <laughs> he was hip when he got there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All they went out the window. So they, again... Uh, you know, they complain about, man, look how they look at us. But y'all doing everything they expect y'all to do. Well, they're, they're doing every. Anybody would treat them that way. Yeah. yeah. Anybody no, yeah. have to be uh, uptight and white. Anybody. They could be in a black neighborhood and people would be like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? What y'all doing? Yeah. Shit, they could be, and by the way, it could be a bunch of rednecks coming up in that club. They'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Mm -hmm. Get your country ass out of here. Cause they, the, so they moved to the house. Very nice house, by the way. And they started doing everything that white people Feared they would do. <laughs> they they everything. Right off the bat, huh? Yeah, all right off the bat. They, <laughs> the moment they moved in, they moved in about fifty black people with them, man. Stuff. <laughs> it's always that way. Yeah, it? and brought Lil Wayne was one of them. And they get out there on the golf course and start filming a Lil Wayne video with uh, booty butt dancers out there. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> now this Negro Yaya music. He's, he's yeah, and he's making. They caught him on the day he's trying to uh, 
He's what, what's the the, the, the PGA? Yeah, trying, so it's a it's a big PGA tournament going on. He's trying to stay. My man, Mister Combs, is trying to sell it. Nigga, they're making rap videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, booty dancers. He mad. He mad. He mad. Spending next week's cash. He fast, and I don't even need to be fast. I'm passing them out. Should, meanwhile, that would sell it if you just leave it alone. <laughs> right, right. You know. It's, it's, <laughs> Because they, they later on they show some of these white people that's actually pretty funny, which I'll, uh, I'll, I'll when we get to it, I'll let you know. So uh, they immediately brought these black people over, man. And then miraculously, though, because what happens here is that part of that property line is on the golf course, right? So, he, so of course. So and then and, and big boy who plays a, a rapper named C Note, he's just living to, to mess with this dude who's turned him down. And miraculously, though, somehow they do get up in the club. Uh, only because it's a plan to get them out the club. Well, not like a low white streets. I ruin everything I've worked so hard for. <laughs> so give him a membership. Have you not been listening to what I've been saying? According to your bylaws, all new members are on probation for the first four weeks. Oh, yeah, he just ejaculated. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about my own bottle. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you have a towel. <laughs> you're, you're with every penny. So they get into the club because it's the only way to get them out of the club and make them stay out of the club. And just give us. And they, and, they, and they roll right into that plan. They roll in that plan so obviously that they roll up with spinners. Oh, they, I mean, again, this is the, the stereotype mobile. They roll up with a golf <laughs> stereotype mobile. <laughs> They roll up with a golf cart tricked out with spinners on it. And here's something that make no sense. It's a fucking golf cart. Yeah, the thing is, like everybody who hates this movie talks about how uninspired it is. This is almost uh, uh, based on um, uh, a skit that they did on in, in Living Color a long time ago. Really? Yeah, yeah, they did a skit because we're like, you know, Tiger Woods is in golf. He's like, now they got to worry about black people. And it was David Allen Greer and, and, uh, and um, Tommy, um, Tommy, oh, Tommy, Davidson. Tommy Davidson. Yeah, and they were out there on the, on the golf course, <sighs> you know, with the boom box and the, and the spinners on the, on the golf cart and, and playing music. And they were like, oh, these black people are ruining everything. And you know what? That was a skit. A skit. Right. Yes. yes. That was a two minutes. That was two minutes long. In good faith. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, here we sit up here. And by the way, actually, it's, they say this movie is an hour and 35 minutes. You actually get an hour and 27 minutes of actual movie. If you want oh, to call it a movie. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they got spinners on there. Don't even need that shit. But it's a golf cart. A golf cart is supposed to be kind of steady to get you where you need to go. These fools went out there, they're just, just ignorant. They put some Fast and Furious nitrous shit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Why? Why, Billy? I'm glad you asked. The only reason why, so we can get a nice bit of slapstick like this. Oh, you didn't think that. That cartoon ass. Yeah. Uh, the sound, yeah. Every time Charlie Brown misses up the yeah, 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 that's that's that. yeah, Billy, you didn't think that this, that the comedy of this caliber would be. Slapstick free, did you? <laughs> it ain't this kind of comedy ain't free, man. Come on now. It would have been awesome. They hit that thing with that nitrous, and you just look at everybody's just dead. Yeah, it just yeah. Just <laughs> That would have been awesome. Yeah, the end of the movie right there. It explodes. I have to do that. They have killed, they took care of themselves. Darwin does exist. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That was his plan. Just let the fools do what they do. They kill themselves out here. They're not the element. They'll take care of them. That motherfuckers will crash into a tree or something. Just let the fools do it. Yeah, yeah. fucking idiots. In fact, just no white people come out and golf today. Let these idiots go ahead and kill themselves. Let them live the whole world of the court. Yeah. We'll fix it later. Shit, nature will take its course. Yeah, Shit, I'm going to take five minutes. Hey, let's go. Spin all this shit up, man. Yeah, believe me, y'all stay out of here, man. Oh my gosh, nitrous on. Yeah, nitrous on. Hey, no, it's it's golf golf. no fucking reason. For no reason at all. Let's do this. <laughs> look at this shit, man. Just, just, <laughs> baby, no, look, look at this. Just speeding down a, a golf a get, fairway. Yeah. A fairway. Right. Like these, you know, just a little path on a golf course. Ain't nobody. Who are you impressing? <laughs> nobody. <laughs> Necessary. 
right? Yep. Just ig- ignorant. Ignorant. How much money you spend on that? Well, you know. That's what, that's what when you give Negroes like this too much money. Yeah, that's that's, that's a necessary shit to do unnecessary shit. Necessary shit. Yeah, they don't show it. They, they, the weekend comes and his account is going like, man, you have no money left. <laughs> right. Well, I don't know right. what you've been spending. What happened? <laughs> I don't know, man. That stupid ass golf course yeah, you yeah, got there. Spent half a million dollars off. Yeah, yeah, and that property you bought, uh, can't stupid afford man. that. Yeah. Yeah, believe me. Y'all, all the white people leave the Leave the golf course because they're they going to kill themselves. Because if, if you stay out there, they're going to get your ass too. Because I'm always doing what can be done. I'm not going to pause that. I'm not going to pause that. I'm glad somebody. Yeah, I'm glad you got a letter out of that. Shit every day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who is he? Yeah, that, that, don't, don't even encourage. Yeah, him. that's the only good thing these black people are good for. Hit him in his nuts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, they did one thing right. I'm laughing because it's too, so fucking stupid. You know, he is a nut shot. Of course, yeah. they won't do a nut shot. <laughs> Who is that guy? Nobody. That's the thing. He's yeah, no he, character. Oh, yeah, he's, 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 he's their DJ. Yeah. They, they got an entourage. That, that's, that's their DJ? Yeah. That dude? Don't need, when no, you want DJ in there? I thought there was someone that hit the golf ball. Who's the white guy that hit the golf ball? That dude? That? No, not him. Oh, that's just some dude at the You're at talking the about him, right? Yeah, I was at who? No, that? that dude ain't nobody. Oh, no, he's nobody. That's, that's, dude, that's, that's, that's his one scene. I'll tell you who he is. He's dude, uh, he's a guy who gets hit in the nuts. Okay. Or he's just some dude. This dude ain't You don't see after he gets hit in his dick, you don't see him no more. Shit, he might still be at the bottom of that pool ball. Right now. <laughs> the draft That's true. Shit. They, they made a point to not pay attention to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's go. Up shit, maybe this around. time he'll die. <laughs> On the way to spring corner. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they know he's there. He got off light. Yeah. yeah. I guess the white dude hit the golf ball. That's the DJ. Yeah, that's the yeah, DJ. Okay. Yeah, but th- yeah, this dude don't come back no more. Nobody see this. This dude was just there to get hit the nuts, make you laugh, and then get the fuck out of here. <laughs> He's like, well, my work is done. Yeah, he's really, really, I'm here for you. <laughs> and he's out. You don't see him no more. Just there for a nutsack joke, a, a, a nutshot joke. So fucking. <laughs> you know, it is. Too. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would say, why was this scene even here? But the movie's only 90 minutes long. Yeah. So. <laughs> Barely. Shit. <laughs> you got to do something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, shit. Well, life is complete now. Well, no, actually, not yet. I mean, you know, we still got more of the, the stick slapping to do. <laughs> the slapping the stick. Uh, I mean, because they, they got a polo match that they do later. I forgot why they even did the polo match. Uh, I, yeah, I, don't I don't even remember. I remember they got into a polo match. It was because of a grudge match between C-Note and uh, and a uh, pedophile dude. And uh, they... And it really, I tell you, fuck it. I'll tell you why they did the the, the 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 polo match because, like I said, so they can get some more slapstick out of it. So you know, you know, Bub, these brothers got weed, so they get they, they get <laughs> so they get. My man is getting everybody high, including the horses. Show, yeah, he got a horse. He got a horse. Oh, God, animals getting high jokes. I hate those fucking jokes. He got a, he he smoked out a horse just so the horse could knock my man off the and, and have him fall to the ground. <laughs> No, 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 the horse got so high. Now this is the this is the, this is where you get the real payoff because you can't have because <laughs> you can't have no horses that are getting high and fall over the place unless somebody falls into. <laughs> Man, all up in it. Oh, he's bouncing something. Jesus Christ. And they had to do it in slow motion. Yeah, because my man tackled the horse. That's what happened. Faison Love 
You know, this is like, what, what were the rules for this poll? None. <laughs> he just they were tackle people. He was losing. <laughs> yeah, he just said fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah, he rugby, said, fuck it. Rugby, rugby now. Horse. <laughs> 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 Where the fuck you think you go? Yeah. <laughs> Which would be fine, but then they were like, oh hey, and they won the game, and they won the game. Nobody, <laughs> nobody called them on this. Yeah. Getting tackled, like they just start playing football. <laughs> Well, that should be right enough. That enough. That right there should be enough to revoke it, right for the probationary period, right? No, because they, they actually got. I, I'll tell you how they got by on this. I'll tell you in, 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 a, in a little bit. Um, let's see here. Uh, because they doing some dumb shit that should have got kicked. Got got them kicked out a long time ago. Uh, there now, life is complete for you. But uh, back to these black stereotypes. So these brothers are up here. They don't they just. Again, just ignorant, man. They in the country club bathroom. The bathroom oh, where people God, go to wash damn. their hands, you know, to go, go take a piss or something. Oh, These Negroes went in there and stripped down ass naked, <laughs> shaving. Just to shave. Just to shave. It's, <laughs> big it's three, it's, it's, it's three big old dudes, two two black ones, that big old uh, white dude, just sitting up there shaving with their ass hanging all out. And my man just, and, and, and don't care who walks in and sees it. I got it going on. You must like what you see. You must like what you see. Cause you see a brother like me. Uh, uh, uh. And I'll break it down. What the I, fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, he's like, he's like I mean, I, at first I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? But I'm like, what well, that dude stays there staring at him for yeah. a long time. Like, why don't you just leave? Yeah, yeah I, 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 I can wash my hands. He probably has right. never seen something like that before. He's just like, first of all, I ain't never seen no black people up in here. And I ain't never seen no shit like this. See, this is the bathroom, so not the this, locker room. Is this yeah. how your people use the bathroom? <laughs> Butt ass nigga. Yeah, and then ain't enough for him to be dancing with his dick and then ass out saying this man. Break it down. And when I'm gonna stop, uh, uh, back to the beat. <laughs> Just, man, I got a shower cap on. <laughs> got a Jerry Curl cap on. That. People is holding on his fake <laughs> drink. <Dreads>, yeah. <laughs> People, this this is beyond ghetto. Yeah, this, this is crazy. Yeah. This is mentally ill. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> it's one way. You're like, you know, okay, you put the comedy together, you gotta get some funny bits, but it's like, man, y'all are scraping. Nobody <laughs> nobody had anything other than this. Just just let's naked just, and then fart. Let's strip our let's strip down our ass, shave and fart. And do and, 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 and dance. Do, yeah. the, do the Negro dance. I right. swear I spent this whole movie trying to figure out Face on Love's character. It's like, is he gay? Sometimes I feel like he is, but then he's like he's he's no, into he's women, being, but yeah. then he, he, he's, he's very flamboyant. Is he just part of the entourage? Yeah, he's yes. part of the entourage. He's just out there just yelling shit. He's just he's he just a hype dude. And that's the thing. All of them just kind of yell stuff. Like Fletch, uh, F- Finesse Mitchell. Other than giving that horse, that's who that was. Finesse. Yeah, Finesse okay. Mitchell. Yeah, yeah. He has nothing to do but just yell out random stuff that doesn't even pertain to what's going on. But he's a really talented guy. I uh, know. Yeah, yeah, that that's a finesse Mitchell right there, uh, who's who does not have the you know the I guess that's that that first of all those those dreads are stuck to his hat right there. Yeah, I know that, that that's fake. Yeah, so he's wearing a wig. I think and his, his character's name is Dread. Is it? Oh, okay. Fuck. Thank you. Well, you I mean, there you go. I don't know for lazy. I guess <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, ain't no inspiration. Can't be Dave or some shit. I mean, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Yet yeah, out of all this crazy shit. They are allowed to stay, thanks to a lame ass cameo by Gary Morris. If you strip this brother of his jacket, you will strip yourselves of your very soul. Hallelujah. Everything they do got to be acting a fool. I mean, Loud and foolish. They get everything. Tongues and whatever. Yeah, they're yelling tongues and talking, uh, talking like Jabba the Hutt. So low, low. Ah, I was in the language. Yeah. I knew I recognized yeah. that somewhere. Oh, yeah, they get him on technicality because everything that they were doing, that they tried to like, the dude, like taking a, a he's taking pictures of everything they're doing. Somehow, <laughs> of course, somehow, uh, uh, out of everything they get them all, like they found some kind of way out of it, but. Stripping down ass naked in the bathroom. That's that's allowed somehow. It's funny. They caught him on a bunch of stuff, but after they were like, well, the helicopter didn't touch the ground, so that yeah. doesn't count. Yeah. Oh, I got a permit for this gun. They were like, 
Oh well, shit! You beat those two. They didn't even bother with the other charges. They were just like, and they're alive. Ah, I give up. Well, you got a permit for the gun? Yes, but we're gun-free premises. Doesn't matter if you got a permit or not. Well, no, 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 no. He's like, well, the mayor said I could, have, I could, yeah. and I the could mayor was it. there, <laughs> and he's like, yep, he's right. <laughs> you're like, mayor, man, who side are you on? <laughs> I never know. Not all, but the mayor said I could bring it. It's like some kid logic when he writes yeah. a script. Yeah. Then the mayor comes in and said he had a gun. It's yeah. like a little child running. He said around. I could have it. Uh. Let's not forget some of the other stereotypes out of here. Uh, oh, a whole, I, like I said, they got everything covered. Let's not forget some of the other stereotypes outside of race, our sexual orientation. Um, you know, they had a, you know, uh, tight ass uh, white communities, you know, uh, uh, white country club. So, you know, that one of these dudes, which means all of them, got hot trophy wives that they that they that, that they that they ignore. Here it comes. I think I'll wear this. Won't restrict my swing. Well, that's perfect, honey. Just remember, keep your head down and your eyes on the ball. Well, she's not a 14-year-old boy. Exactly. Right? Yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah I mean, of course you're not interested. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's a beard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wrong tree, <street>, honey. <laughs> Go get one of my son's friends and we'll talk. You know, uh, but that's... Uh, the, that's a convenient excuse to mine some comedy, quote unquote comedy, yeah. uh, for you know her and all these other women to you know finally have sex with that black guy. That looks scrumptious. Well, a she crab soup. It's our signature dish. You really should try some, sir. <clears throat> I will. Okay, so she just gets weird after yeah, that. Like, like, you know. What is she looking at? And well, yeah. like, she's like, yeah, we, I see your titties. You can't not see It's them. almost What's like they're on? trying to improvise and got nothing. At this point, it's like, you want to fuck yourself? So, okay, so after all this weird shit and snipping and everything. I'm sorry for her, too. Like, yeah. She has no direction. No, no, no they, they, they none got any direction. They don't know what the to do with this storyline right here. Like all this snipping and, and, and weird shit, and you end up, they don't even do anything with it. Oh. She spends the rest of this movie just sitting in the background looking at his ass like she's a, like a crazy stalker or, 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 or a hoe trying to pick up a John. Turn me to a nanny, oh. me to her, to her, to her, to her, to her, to her, to her. Oh, no, they, they, okay, okay. That's, I know. that's all, all they do all, for the rest of the movie. And it goes nowhere. It goes nowhere. Yeah. And, 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 you're right, maybe he is gay. Anybody else would be like, oh, she wants to fuck. No, he is on it. Now. They just don't know what to do with it. <laughs> no, she just, that, the rest of the movie, she just sits in the background. Looks at his ass like he's a play the Hello Fresh. People, we have to do our. <laughs> we have to do our. Well, an ad from our sponsor right now. Just real quick, thank you very much, yo. Hey, let me uh, just give a word out to our sponsor, Hello Fresh, real quick for you. America's number one meal kit. I've told you about Hello Fresh before. I'm gonna tell you about it again because it just gets better and better. Look at that. Even Kiki Palmer's on it. <laughs> Good too. Kiki Palmer was in the movie. Nope, but she said, "Yep, to Hello Fresh." Right here. <laughs> Corn in this side. No, one thing that is good right here is HelloFresh because, you know, whether you're trying to save money or eat better, cut down on stress, trying to figure out what to make, what to cook, what to, where to buy the food, HelloFresh is here to help you with all of that with chef-crafted recipes at a price that you're going to love. It's all delivered to your door because each HelloFresh box, it is it has farm-fresh ingredients inside of it. Arrives pre-portioned, which means that for all of you who don't know how to cook or don't know what you're doing in the kitchen, well, now you do, thanks to HelloFresh. Everything comes out pre-portioned. They give you the recipe right there. Everything is uh, uh, planned out for you. You can do this. You can. And you're going to be proud when you do it, too. And you can also save money with HelloFresh. Much cheaper than takeout, and in some cases, is much cheaper than the grocery store. Uh, time is money. Save time. Thing is, with HelloFresh, you don't have to worry about standing in that grocery line. You don't have to worry about trying to scrounge through the kitchen, trying to figure out what to make. You don't have to worry about looking at the food, saying, I don't know what I'm doing. You know, HelloFresh has got you in for those people who are in a quick hurry. 
you know, those people who don't don't have no time at all. Because I'm saying you do some of these in 30 minutes or less. Some people are like, man, I ain't got that. Well, you know what? HelloFresh has quick and easy meals, including their 15-minute recipes that are designed to minimize mealtime stress. It's even quicker than delivery, y'all. They also have a lot of variety. <clears throat> they can they, they can they can uh, adapt and fit any kind of lifestyle out there. Look at some of these. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna take you to a menu that they got, so you can see all this fine eating that they got over here for you. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. <clears throat> and I know y'all looking at this at a glance, saying, "Well, I don't know if they got my diet up there." They do. They do. They do. I'm telling <laughs> they you, they right do. Now. Man, don't worry. About stop it. it. Yeah, whether you're vegetarian or you're Mediterranean, whatever you like, they got you somewhere in between. Mediterranean diet, they got all of that in there. And like as I said, they got it in many different varieties. I think you got about over 40 recipes to choose from. And now like, like I was telling you, you know, they got every kind of diet in there. Calorie smart and protein smart recipes are available each week. <laughs> and you're thinking about dinner, not just for dinner, y'all. They also got you with lunch, breakfast. You know, Super Bowl is coming up. You need a party tray or something. HelloFresh can help with that. But let's talk about the most important meal of the day, which you might be able to get for free. First of all, you're liking what you see right here, and you're going to want it anyway. So let me tell you how to get this. But, hey, what if you could get breakfast free for life? That's right. You heard me. Breakfast for life. Here's what you do. You go to HelloFresh.com slash Double Toasted Free and use the code Double Toasted Free for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while your subscription is still active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash Double Toasted Free and you use that code Double Toasted Free. I got to spell it out for you. H-E-L-L-O-F-R-E-S-H dot com slash D-O-U-B-L-E-T-O-A-S-T-E-D. F R E E. You put that code in, double toasted free, and you're going to get free breakfast for life. Don't ever have to worry about getting that most important meal of the day to get your day started. Don't even have the stress to worry about what to make. You're just going to have it there waiting on you. Uh, HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. I want to thank them for sponsoring this portion of the show. And I want to thank all of you out there for your support. All right, moving on. <clears throat> Well, I, you know, we were looking at uh, Faison Love just being weird with one of the Mr. Cummins' uh, wife right there, young trophy wife right there. Uh, you know, most of these brothers are trying to sex up these old repressed, <laughs> horny-ass housewives. They got up there like like this woman right here, your boy Finesse, trying to finesse her up. Mm, delicious. Yeah. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Or put the nuts all on the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you like what you see? Shit just gets weird every yeah, time. Yeah, it's yeah, just, just no kind of like, glad you like it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? Hey, come on, get this girl. Yeah, bro. exactly. And they like it. It's my special recipe. Okay. Hmm, go to my dipper <laughs> Dive on it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you know, just just like with Soul Play, man. This one has the uh, the, the the white sun. Of course, you know they love hip hop and everything, yeah. and they and they want to be black. That was a genuine laugh, not like, oh my god, so stupid laugh. That was yeah, right. no, that line was actually funny. That was great. <laughs> If that wasn't so offensive, I'd make that the sub alert. Yeah. <laughs> Can't get away with that, Donald. Thing. He doesn't use the hard R, though. No, he does not. He's <laughs> careful with that. It's kind of funny the way he says it. Like, he says it just like he did. Yeah. You know, said that shit again. But I'll tell you this. That white boy doing that is the most realistic part of this film I've seen so far. The yeah. white kid trying to act black. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. And it's funny because they... uh. They take his ass and they get him. <laughs> his Cino got so much clout up in these strip clubs, he was able to get a minor up in there. Black which kind of takes a sexist turn. <laughs> no way right here. Black you want to slap that ass? Whose ass is it? Hey, Black 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 no! It's your ass. Mine? This is completely.
completely wrong because yeah. no money was exchanged yet at all. So he really didn't buy that ass. <laughs> you know, it's funny. You say he brought a minor up in there. I know this kid. Yeah, that he was 31 at the time. This kid. Get the fuck out of here. No, this kid is Andy Milanak- Milanakis. He was a, he had an MTV show back in the day. He had, So he had one of those hormone things going on where it made him oh. look like he was younger than what he really is. Like, Today, he's like, he's almost 50 years old yeah. today. Yeah, so this, this is an M- his, uh, the intro to his MTV show right here. I rock peas on my head, but don't call me a pea head. Peas on my head, but don't call me a pea head. Bruce Lee's on my head, but don't call me a Lee head. Now please excuse me, I got to get my tree fed. You wear any friends and I make my own clothing. I hang out with an apple who loves self-loathing. I hate myself. Pancake on my face makes me extra happy. I like shampoo bottles that sit on my lappy. You can see high concept comedy right here. Right. Right. Well, you must have loved this, because it's so Tim and Eric. I, you know what? I didn't even know this show was around. Oh, really? really? Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Must have been out. Like, well, you know, this this kid is close to my age. Yeah. So, so he's like that kid that played like Tracy Morgan's son on Thirty Rock, the little black one. Oh yeah, he's yeah, yeah. The same thing. He's way older than right. Yeah. Too. No, this kid is. You know, I keep saying kid. Man, this dude's like forty nine or forty eight years old now. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and, and and looks almost the same. <laughs> he looks like he looks so much older now. He looks older, but when you look, when he starts talking, you st- <laughs> he start thinking some kid again, so or, ugly kid, or a woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who's ugly boy? Who's ugly boy? I'm joking. Yeah, he's not. He, you know, the, he did yeah. comedy though because he uh, that was his way of coping with his whole mm. uh, condition. condition. Yeah. Um, you, you know, after this. This is this is MTV back in the day when you had like Polly Shore and all that yeah, kind of thing. You know, just, and, and, and Jesse whatever. And, and, uh, Paul, uh, what's his name? Uh, Green Tom Green. You know they yeah. were they went to absurdist comedy mm-hmm. at the yeah. time. So yeah, this this is right. This was right up in there what they were doing. Yeah, you know what? That's when the bubble was over too. Yeah. Yeah, that's, you know, that's bullshit. <laughs> what a fuck up time that was. I'm okay. <laughs> um, but if it ain't stereotypes, it's just. Tired jokes that we see all the time. So, you know, as, as to be expected, the, the the blacks finally went over the country club when uh, when all the white people start realizing they can act out their black chocolate fantasies with them. Give it up. Tell me what you're waiting for. I mean, I've been there. I mean, I've been there. Yeah, man. Don't you tell these black people to go. <laughs> you were waiting on that. Yeah. The first day, he was like, look, if this all works out, that's where I will be. I think he was looking at uh, the one with that face on Love's dick in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> He's all up in your titties now. He's like, yeah, don't you, you better let these black people get in this club right now. I was just about to ask you, when is the white people dancing scene? That's how they always win them over. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's never, it's never. Let's have a conversation. We're all the same people. We're just different colors. We have different cultures. We can all come together. No, it's hit the music. Hit yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. They gotta have music and bitches. That's the only way to do oh, it. Oh, yeah. No, that's what time. they do. That's like that's the, how they win them over. Because the, the, uh, 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 What's his name? Pedophile. What's his name? Jeff, Jeff Jeff Jones. Jeffrey Jones. He's back there like, we've got to get these stupid people out of here. And everybody's like, why? Everybody's having a good time. Everybody's like, hey, come on, everybody's having a good time. Everybody's on. Now it's just personal. You know? <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, it's like him and Ferris Bueller. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Wow, yeah. That's exactly what he's playing. Excellent. So, mm-hmm. no dog to go check so now he's like, well, you know what? Y'all don't know what y'all are saying. Now it's up. It's, it's up. <laughs> you let these black people fool you. Now, now it's up to me to handle this. <laughs> save I, the white people. Yeah, great I, gotta race. Save, I gotta. I'm your great white hope. I gotta save the white people. I don't know what y'all are saying. What the hell is wrong with y'all? Y'all don't know what y'all are doing. <laughs> they got some voodoo on y'all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> put that, yeah, put, put the, that the, black voodoo that crush. juju on you. <laughs> so now I got. Now I'm now to see what you've done. Now I gotta get desperate. So now he gotta go to some gangsters to, to, to take to, to take care of this. To get to get C note and his, and his crew out the picture, um, but here's the joke. You know these aren't these just aren't regular gangsters. You know this. <laughs> no, they could be regular gangsters. Where, where's the humor in that? <laughs> what do you want? A little help. A little help. It's dwarf gangsters. Yeah, uh, Bugsy Malone. Bugsy Malone. Who, dwarves who hate short references. Right. By the way, that, that collar is bigger than him. I know. <laughs> it, 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 I, I, I would have thought they would put Tony Cox in oh, 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 no. <laughs> not, you, not, not so fast, little boy. You boys. can't have a movie of black dwarf. You better get that fool out of the way. Say, yeah, you can, he can be here, but you got to have the black dwarf right. up in here. I mean, uh, I have a small job. 
Small? What do you mean small? <laughs> so, there's your boy. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like say. they were shooting this movie and they didn't have him. He heard about it. <laughs> <laughs> you better get this man out there's the way. There's a rule in Hollywood. You got to have me. <laughs> but it's almost like they were like, man, I wish we could have gotten Tony Cox. Man, you got Tony Cox, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was right here. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm just late. Cut! Yeah. What the hell are y'all doing? I never Shut all this shit down. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. And I love Tony Cox. No, me saying. too. Well, it's funny here because uh, the, this man, this subplot is crazy. Because so to get rid of Cino, he says, uh, he says, dude, you know, I want him gone permanently. He just, but he meant permanently out his life. He didn't mean dead. But they don't know that. So well, they they almost make it clear to him. You mean permanently? You want him gone or permanently? Well, I want him permanently out of my life. It's like yeah, okay, be clear about what you're saying. Okay, man. you say yeah. permanently means dead, right? So these, so they little asses go over there. And they start planting bombs on the stage with Cino performing. Now, what's so crazy about that is that when the bomb is discovered, this was that he said kills, not even kill, they don't kill him, but he just said, get rid of Cino. So the whole thing is, whether by getting him out of there, scaring him away, or killing him, it's just meant for Cino and his crew. Look at what this bomb does. <laughs> You gonna set the bomb in the middle of the party with everybody, even the guy who hired you? you hired yeah, 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 they won't kill everybody. You said you want them out your life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit, these, everybody yeah, down. these ain't gay somebody. These midgets committing terrorism now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get him out your life. We'll get your life out of your life. They gonna kill everybody. <laughs> hey, no plan. <laughs> And they walk it off proud. Yeah. Hey, you know he only paid his half, right? Yeah. <laughs> he only paid his half, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. Fuck <laughs> it. He better pay us, too. We ain't, yeah. in, yeah. 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 We ain't in it for the money. We ain't in it for the love. <laughs> now go get our money. Yeah, looking like a, a door red man right here. <laughs> he doesn't look like red man. Yeah. He's supposed to go kill him. But they didn't care. That's what they would do. <laughs> oh. And yet, for all the black, just downright ignorant foolishness that's in this movie, <laughs> I before. still I still like it better than than that other movie. Welcome aboard. Thank you for choosing the Soul Plane. I still like it better than Soul Plane, and I and I and I tell you why. I, I can say I can agree with that. Okay, and I know y'all talking about Big Boy. Big Boy is not the best actor out there. He's but horrible. I, I, you know, I don't think he's horrible. He's not horrible. He's just not good. Okay. He just, yeah, oh, there, right. there's certain scenes that he's in. I was like, well, man, you're carrying the scene all right. Like, he, of course, since they have a black lawyer, female lawyer on the case, which we saw earlier. Tamala uh, Jones. Yeah. Tamala Jones. So yeah. since they have her, of course, that's the love interest for Big Boy. And I thought, you know, Big Boy, he's he's definitely been, he's definitely got charisma on, on, on camera. It's just that his acting is not great. And I thought that with her, he held it down all right. I'm sure you did need love looking like that. Don't do me like that. Uh, I got a couple of fashion skeletons in my closet, too. Thanks to Madonna. That must have been so devastating to a girl like you. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you're crazy. No, you're crazy. No, like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I don't, I'm not a... a <laughs> and and with this, with, with, what's that? Billy's <laughs> looking at me like, oh man, I said he was horrible, and you, and you fought me on that. You know, it just seems like, like I'm not. But I, this isn't like this isn't a uh, what do you call it uh, cringy to me. No, like, no, it, I've seen so many worse. I've seen so many worse. It's just like the way everything is shot so tight on his it face. It is, man. It made it, it gave me. I was like, why is that? I was like, does he have the script down here in his hand? He can't remember his lines. Probably. Before. Every time he has to look and then say it. Cause, cause it's it's very they, choppy with him. I can tell you why. Yeah. What's up? Well, if you look on her, on I'm sorry, on, on his his over the shoulder shots, uh -huh. he's yeah, he's not comfortable, so he keeps hmm. moving. If uh -huh. You see him like when he's on Chappelle's show, he's so uncomfortable on camera, he can't stop doing all this. Uh -huh. like, so he does that because I think it's just him being nervous. Yeah, it's just how he is. On 
His okay, I, I did catch him doing some yeah, of that, but I thought that was just going to be part of his Jay. character. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's, that's what he does. Okay. Yeah. I, you know, I... Extreme close-ups, because if you, if you yeah. record him, it's going to be distracting. Well, after watching the whole movie, I, I mean, I just got to go with my feelings. I don't think he... I mean, there's so many bad things in this movie. He's he's not the worst. He's actually... You saw the whole film, I did. Yeah, well, I, I don't think he's terrible in this. It's just kind of like, it's just... But you were right. That camera is... I was like, I didn't even notice that. You mentioned, like, why is this camera all up his face? Every time. Like yeah, no, you are definitely right about that. Uh, there are some <laughs> some people in this crew who are not very good actors. Uh, that sadly, big man, uh, the one that was out there playing golf and uh, not doing it very well. What? Oh, they, no, this uh, this no, the this dude right DJ. The, the DJ. Uh, I forgot that guy's name. He was he's dead now. Oh, he was a he was a wrestler. His wrestling career didn't last very long. It lasted about two, maybe three years. But you know, he had a problem with addiction. He overdosed. Mm. But he was a he was like a, a road manager for Outkast. Okay, so that's how he got that's why he's in here. Yeah, okay. he's not that great. No, no, he's 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 not, and he gets the the least amount of screen time. I was, you know, what I was probably not so bothered by Big Boy because everybody else in his crew, Sherry Shepard and Vanessa Mitchell mm. and and Faison Love, who are Actors, comedic actors, I've seen be good in things. Who are veterans. Yeah. Like they've been in, in legit productions. Right. You know? But yeah. so much of every time it cut to one of them, not Sherry Shepard all the time, but every time it cut to one of them, it's like they had to do improv and yeah. they're not good at it. Mm. So they would yeah. just yell stuff. And I was like, man, this <laughs> is this is painful to watch people who I know are better than this be so terrible. Yeah. No, Where it's with Big Boy, okay, you're not really an actor, so... You know, you're doing all right. Yeah. Yeah, the material is so bad in this, man. But I've yeah. seen Faze on, Faze on Love be good, though. You know, yeah. me too. Like, you know, like That's why I hurt watching him in this. Yeah, because nobody has anything to do but just be stupid. Just yell out, yeah, just, just, just yell out dumb things. A comedy, none of this comedy works. Mm -hmm. None of this works. You know, I mean, it's, and if you, I mean, like I said, some of you, because like Billy, you know, I'm like, I agree that you're laughing because that shit just so stupid. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. just if you laugh, you just laughing at how ridiculous it is. But none of this comedy is really that good, man. Now, I, I will say that it's, it's, you know, at first I was a little baffled by how many supporting roles they had in here, maybe cameos or whatever, because, uh, you know, they can have some people in here who are acting like they got some sense. When they come into the movie, you know, it gives the movie just a little more, just a tad bit more self-respect than it, it was having before these people came in. Like uh, Jennifer Lewis, who plays uh, oh, yeah. C uh, Big Boy's mom, Cino's mom. Look at you, running around town, making millions, shooting videos, carrying on. But where's the love, Christopher? <laughs> well, girl. Bitch, what you love? <laughs> 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 I got your number two. You running around town with your big fancy law degree and your, your power suits. Spending your time in a courtroom instead of a bedroom. Your eggs aren't getting any fresher. So God damn. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I love Jennifer Lewis and, and everything. And I, I think she's actually good in this. But that little speech, I was like, wow, that's the most sexist thing you could have yeah, heard. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. You better let your ladies be pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. Put, your, put your fancy <laughs> law degree yeah. and your power suits and making something of yourself yeah. and going to school <laughs> your, and making your parents yeah. proud. Go have some babies. Yeah. How dare you? <laughs> with your female independence and power, you're going you to go spread your legs <laughs> yeah. and make a baby? You ain't shit. <laughs> Yeah, have children. Yeah. I'm sorry, children. Go, go lay your ass down somewhere. <laughs> and I love Jennifer Lewis too. I mean, you know, she's a Broadway actor. You know, yeah. so it was like, you yeah. know. Oh, and Uncle Phil, uh, James Aiden. Oh, he's right. He's great. So what? See, that's your problem. You're playing him instead of the course. It doesn't matter how great he is. Every time you put a peg in the turf, you're playing old man par. Now you got two choices. You either play big. Oh, go home. Damn, Martin, he's looking just like you, Martin. <laughs> yeah, Martin. Damn. <laughs> yeah, Martin, Martin in the background. Yeah. Uh, who is he, the groundskeeper? Uh, he's a, what, who is he? He works there or something. Yeah, he right? works there. He was uh, he was around he, for a certain he, thing at uh, a time. Maybe he was the groundskeeper. I yeah, don't know. I, he's around for something that's important. But I'll tell you what it is in a little bit. But man, now they now they got some old silly ass uh, you know supporting roles you know in here too. It, I mean, he James Avery he lays it down, and that's a good part right there. Yeah. But that play big or go home, I am so sick of people saying oh, that, well, and they run it into the fucking ground. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they they you know this was filmed back in the day when, uh, it, was, when it was a thing. Yeah, when it was a new <laughs> thing. New thing, so yeah, it's, it's old now. <laughs> they do have some old silly ass supporting roles in here too, uh, and I and I say that 
loving this man right here, but it's it's just it's your boy being him. Love makes a brother stupid. You don't want to see me stupid, little man. You got a big ass mouth, bitch. <laughs> Is that all you got? My baby's just a hit hard in there. My car up tight, I'm starting to get bored with this. <laughs> oh, that's Terry Crews, yeah. So, I love Terry Crews, man. Terry Crews, right. man, Terry Crews. He's an old, uh, for Sherry Shepard, he's an old boyfriend that shows up. You know, talking about you know doing what Terry Crews do. Hey girl, <laughs> dance at the club. Yeah. <laughs> hey girl, I just got out of prison. You know, you lift that restraining order because I want a sexual power. You know, I got a thing that Terry Crews does. I love Terry Crews. Yeah, I love yeah, Terry yeah. Crews. You know, does that mouth? Yeah, 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 and and the face has micro expressions. Right, right, right. And he's in the Adam Sandler movie. You got to plug your eyes in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, only with Adam Sandler, though. Hey, hey girl, <laughs> you, you lift that restraining order because you know, I sure would like to love you up and down right now. You know, so that's they know Terry Crews that does, was, yeah, man. That was it. Yeah, yeah. I, I love Terry Crews though. I do, I do. Yeah, he's she's funny here, man. Um, but the boy like. Jennifer Lewis and James Avery, why would they do something like this? And I think I have a good reason why. Uh, because they probably would pitch a different kind of movie. Mm -hmm. Because there is a part of this movie, this is what raises this, raises this above. Not, not listen, I ain't trying to say this is good, but this is what raises above something like Soul Plane. Because they, they actually do have a reason why all these people are acting like they're acting. I ain't saying it's really, you know, good that they're doing it, but there's a reason why they, they're doing what they're doing. Uh, revenge is the reason why they're doing it. Uh, so, Sino's father, his father was a was a was a caddy. Let me see right. His father was a caddy at a, at the at the at the club years ago. So he was a caddy at the club, and he did he he had a game where he had such a high score that it beat the record of a lot of the people there, including. Uh, Mr. Cummings, who the guy who runs the place, who they say we can't have no caddy, much like some black caddy, mm -hmm. beat our records here. So uh, they had it. Uh, they had it covered up. Your dad is Bobby Hawkins. Yeah, he's a legend around here. And I heard that he shot the course record. Well, it was a 59 unofficially. You know, Cummings would never gonna let a caddy take the record away from. Him. So I was because at the beginning of the movie, I was wondering. Why do these brothers want to be at this club so bad? Just so, that alone, that alone. Why do y'all want to do this so bad? And then why do y'all want to join so bad? Y'all can't even play golf. <laughs> oh, Mulligan! <laughs> but you know, it's it, because he wants to. Uh, uh, he wants to, uh, uh, you know, uh, fix the legacy of his father. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah, okay, you know, it's it's whatever you know but it, but it, it did explain why they were up in there so i'm like all right it's just it ain't ignorance just for ignorance sake. it explains why part of big boy's plan was to bring his loudest most niggerish friends <laughs> yeah, along exactly yeah. exactly he was his intention was to really stick it to the man and you know get on everybody's nerves at the club i don't even know if he knew he would get along with the white people later mm -hmm. but well, anyway um <laughs> I mean, that was living around here. He was you. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you but you man, know. yeah, this leads to like a cheesy end though, because Cummings hires a. So they, they, he says, listen, all right, you know, you tell all these people this this lie right here about this 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 this, this scorecard, and you know, and they, obviously you're not gonna go away. You're not gonna take away everything I earned. So here's what we're gonna do: if uh, we're gonna have a match, one last golfing match. If you win, you stay. If I win, you go. And no, actually, let me change it. He said, if you, if you, if if you win, you stay, and I will go. Mm -hmm. And vice versa, the other way around. If I win, I stay, and you get your ass out of here. So uh, he takes him up on that. Of course, Mr. Cummings ain't gonna play fair. So uh, he doesn't tell anyone that he's gonna get a on his team. He's got a pro golfer coming. <laughs> Tell me, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, don't ask me. I can tell you it is. That's Jessica uh, Pumpernickel. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who the hell that was when it popped up. But I thought, oh, Jack Nicholas. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. considering he doesn't have any lines, he might be an actual golfer. I think he is. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure he is. No, I'm, yeah, yeah I'm I probably have it up is. there, and he's probably foreign. Looks like. Uh, only thing that C Note has, he's got a, he's got a caddy who's he's been kind of mentoring that shows a little bit of promise. Eddie, 
hands. Get close, baby. <laughs> oh, but, but not good enough. Damn, she had money bet on that. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. Fuck. She was the like, kiss <laughs> motherfucker. Shut! Yeah. yeah, got me again. <laughs> uh, but when C Note is up, we're at the end of this, this movie now. When C Note is up, he has to make this impossible shot. A shot that no, they said no one can make. But here's what now. I, I'm glad that this has an inspirational ending, but it's also a little cheesy ass ending too because he, because it's an impossible shot. But thank God that his father from beyond oh, the water right. and, 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 and get this to the court to the course. Great <laughs> win. Hey, with that old six man shit. <laughs> I've got you, son. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> and by the way, that boy don't look nothing like Big Boy. <laughs> that's a, that's a old uh, uh, biracial boy. He wrong. Boy got different eye colors, different hair color, light skin, yeah. everything that Big Same Boy. Hair, yeah. I was like, what the hell? Remember this? President Trump is focused squarely on overturning the election. He's running again, and there are more just like him. Election deniers in your state, up and down the ballot. They want the power to change the rules and decide who wins elections and overturn any election result if they don't like the outcome. If you think voters should have the power, get the facts at electiondeniers.org. Paid for by States United Action. Empower is here to help answer your financial questions and empower what's next. Because if you're like most people, you've probably had your fair share of stressors. Like, will you be able to afford a third kid? Will you be able to do everything you want during retirement? And what if you outlive your savings? Join 18 million Americans and take control of your financial future. Start today at Empower.com. <laughs> He's up. <laughs> oh, come on already. Like, God damn, we know what's going to happen. Yeah, like, come on, man. So I want to go in and just kick them all yeah, in. I guess we got to move out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> wait, he's like, wait, they, the momentum had already died. What's <laughs> <laughs> happening? Is there a fucking magnet in that ball? Yeah. You know, it goes to the guys kicking that ball in the hole. You know, that shit. It's still going, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, you ain't lying. Yeah, what yeah, are you doing here? I'm not lying. That's the most that, outrageous boy. That's just a kid. Yeah. What kid is that? That ain't Big Boy. Nah, man, that's, that's his half brother. His dad was cheating on the bottom. He was a white one. So unless Big Boy got caught in a house fire or something, <laughs> that ain't him. That is not him. That is crazy, right? Yeah. How dare you? How dare you sit up here and put that shit that close to us and let us, yeah. let us see all them damn, damn, goddamn biracial details on there, man? Well, you, know, you know, this random kid is enjoying himself. Yeah. Yeah. Sure ain't you. What was that? I was like, wait, well, how does he suck playing golf as if, if his dad was taking him when he was young? It's like, oh, that wasn't him. Yeah, that was, was his like, cousin oh. or something. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Proud yeah. of your son. Yeah. <laughs> Me and this random kid. <laughs> Man, now listen, it's a cheesy scene, but it would have been kind of, I mean, it would have been a nice way to end this movie, uh, which has been very ignorant up until this point. Uh, uh, but, it, you know, it's, it's undercut by a lot of things that kind of happened after, but definitely happened before. I mean, the scene was already ruined before we got to it by this shit right here. Jump. Turd. 
standards and drop it to the ground. Yeah, and she's still and she's still looking at him all she, thirsty. Oh, by yeah, the way. yeah, and oh, yeah, yeah. It was like this scene is made all the less funny by him acting in Panama. Yeah, yep. gyrating. Uh, yeah. My mouth was open. Yeah. No, that old ass joke. That yeah. was old then too, by the way. So Shit, my eyes you. and ears are open. I'm, I'm in much more pain than you are. Yeah, people. Then that, that I would say this. That kind of sums up the whole movie. Right there. <laughs> it kind of does. Oh, but hey, justice. This is what got me. Again, ain't nobody paying attention. Nobody giving a fuck. They just want to get out now. <laughs> justice is served. Justice is served at the end when uh Mr. Cummings is arrested for attempted murder. Richard Cummings. Yes? You're under arrest for conspiracy to commit murder. That's ridiculous. You must have the wrong Richard Cummings. Why well, the guy that tried to commit the murder? Like, yeah. What the fuck he did it? Exactly. I mean, I guess he turned states out of this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is big Remember me? Uh-huh. This man's a liar. <laughs> there you go. One yeah. last nut punch for you, Billy. <laughs> you know what that that's the way that would go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's our government witness. How the old yeah, yeah, how old man? man dress like a punch him in the nuts. That won't come of a trial. Dress like a <laughs> dress like a mini pill. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's Cat Williams, everybody. Right. <laughs> Man, he's gonna end up talking about you on the show. Everybody know my shit. Everybody, they all, hey, you know what? Yeah, we knew that. We don't give. We don't give a shit. <laughs> now nah, let me tell you something. That was his last appearance. Yeah, that man, he talked about I'll read a hundred books a day and all that kind of shit. You know, he had some good stuff in there, but all that filler mm-hmm. between it was like it makes you wonder if he's telling the truth about the real shit. That's all. I'm Somebody saying. say, yeah, you next court. And at the in the end, things right here. Oh God! They finally got my man for pedophilia. There it is. I was like, damn, that's a now that's a shot you don't want. <laughs> right. Like, why do you agree to do this shit knowing what the, your your record, man? And he's like, eh, I've been through it. <laughs> also, also, yeah, I pay lawyers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't know. I don't know about that. Either your ass. The remote. Mm, I guess it's my ass. He said, either red, your ass or the remote. Uh, I guess it's my ass thing. I want to watch my show. Yeah, right. <laughs> Take the remote, man. Yeah, yeah, what you want? Yeah, it's cool. Funny. It's not really a choice. How did I get this? Oh, God, 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 that goes to hell. There you go. We end with sexual assault. All right. So. <laughs> Still good acting, good man. <laughs> oh, people. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah, I, terrible. I just don't hate it the way I hate Soul Plane. No, I don't. I despise Soul Plane. I yeah. just, this is just kind of like this is stupid. Yeah, this is stupid and it's bad. It's uninspired. It's supposed to be a remake, a reimagining of Caddyshack. Caddyshack, yeah. And it's like oh. <laughs> barely. Yeah, I know. Don't, don't, don't even. But with Soul Plane, it was the basic premise was, hey, if black people did get power or right. you know get, we're in charge of a corporation, this is how stupid they would be with it. No, that's what I'm saying. That's why I looked at this and I said, D- D- "Who's your caddy?" Ain't got nothing on Soul Plane mm-hmm. or Soul Plane the other way around because you know it's it is a it, who's your caddy is about this man getting by with his intelligence, no matter how ignorant he has. Mm-hmm. You know he is uh, you know he. He is on in his exterior, or how he goes about things. You know, soul plane is just kind of like this is you're right. This, black people can't do nothing because we're too dumb to do it. Mm-hmm. There's no intelligence in this. No, none at all. Matter right? fact, it is proudly ignorant. Yeah, and and right, and, right. and and just uh, foolish and. If, yeah, if I if we own an airline, we, this is how we would handle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no exactly. sense and just. Yeah, the most, the most basic ghetto shit, right? You know, because that's who we are. Yeah, you know, just every again, everything would just be a stereotype of the most ignorant shit that we can be. Gotta keep it real. We can't have no regular flights. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. So you no, know this, how we do. Uh, no, this uh, you can't. Uh, 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 you know how we do. That's, that should be the channel on the airline. Yeah, yeah. You know how we do. So plan. You know how we do. It's why I'm not flying with you. Okay. Yeah. Nah, people. It's a. So the who's your cat is just, just lame. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> I mean, we finally got it out of the way, but I was just so like, all right, man, I'm not even mad. <laughs> no. It's just, no, no, I can't get mad at this. I'm, in fact, I'm just laughing at how stupid some of it was, yeah. man. I'm like, like you. I was looking at some things. I'm just like, okay, this is ridiculous. And it's right. short. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah.